So this is the Amflow e-bike. So we've got an aggressive trail bike, 160 mil travel, 150 mil on the rear. And the key to this bike really is the DJI Avinox drive system. Now it's got 120 newton meters of peak torque and up to a thousand watts in the boost mode that you can get for around 30 seconds. It will give you uh, for the full ride 105 newton meters and just over 800 watts of power. Now this is really unique because it is such a small compact system. The battery is the highest energy density battery that I've seen and to put it into a e-bike that looks not much different to a regular pedal bike really has blown most lightweight systems out of the water because the overall weight of these bikes is from around 19.2 kilos and considering at that 19.2 kilo weight you get the most powerful e-bike system on the market not by a small amount but by a massive margin has really I guess intrigued a lot of people. This is DJI's first entry into the e-bike market and they've come in with an absolute bang, an amazing product, looks fantastic, really slimline, handles and feels more like a regular pedal bike but with that incredibly high torque and high power motor. Now obviously you don't need to ride it in the extreme mode all of the time but knowing that you've got that mode available is incredible. This weighs the same as most lightweight e-bikes but is two or three times more powerful with a battery capacity up to 800 watt hours. So you're gonna get some big rides in if you want to or some super fast high speed rides. And I think this is an incredible piece of technology and will really help drive the industry forward. And I think it's an incredible piece of innovation. So we've covered the bike in a standalone video already. So definitely check that out. But I've got Ferdy again from DJI and I think you've got some cool features that we didn't discuss. That right. That video was so in-depth anyway, but there's more stuff about this bike. It like just keeps giving. So what, what have we got app-wise that you can share some more sneak peeks about what you right. can do? I mean, we covered the most striking features. You know, everybody wants the torque, uh, the power, the battery and everything. But actually, we integrated a lot of smart features as well that you would expect from a modern uh, e-bike system. Um, and also some nice security features. So for instance, you can set a password. So um, if you move away from your bike, nobody can just turn it on and go away. And the cool thing is we have a touch screen. So you can easily and conveniently punch in the numbers on the touch screen and doesn't have to use any you know, knobs or uh, buttons to do that. Um, the other cool feature is um, that you can turn on a feature where you uh, automatically unlock the bike if you approach the bike with your phone. And then we have a third really nice option because I told you about our sensors in the bike, in the screen. So we already have those gyro sensors. So if you lock the bike, buying an ice cream or something, and somebody moves your bike, you will get an instant notification on your phone, either via Bluetooth, if you're in the Bluetooth range, or if you have the LTE uh, uh, enabled, you will get over LTE, via LTE, you get a message on your phone that somebody is tinkering with your bike, and the bike will also sound an alarm and tell uh, a nice message on the display that please stop moving the bike. So that's some of the cool features we implemented with the system and they come as a standard, no extra option. Just every Avanox drive system has that feature integrated. And I think I saw a little map as well, so you can see where the bike is. Like. That's the, the other nice thing. We have GPS integrated as a standard. So um, yeah, you can always check out where your bike is. So you know where you are, it shows you your position, it shows you where your bike is. And if you lost it somewhere, you know, there's a lot of Avinox uh, powered bikes. You can even let it beep. Got it. Wire app. Or you can even get directions to your bike. You so, know, yeah. a lot of people are putting air tags and things on yeah. their bikes because, yes. you know, there's, there's they're lots of money, the bikes, aren't they? Let's Absolutely. be honest. And yeah. I've always thought brands have to do more to help protect them because these are as much as some small cars or, or motorbikes right. that, right. And, and they have no tracking devices. So you're just like dropping bombshell after bombshell with this bike, aren't Com you? Comes, <laughs> comes integrated as a standard, yeah. So I thought that's uh, really really important as well uh, and we feel this is something people are really after as well when they buy a new and expensive bike they get some protection for that nice. as well and i've got to say i don't think i've ever seen cues at eurobike as long as i've it's seen it's like it's you've launched a new tech product yeah. like 
How long are the queues outside your booth? Uh, actually, they, they, they're like bending around the booth now and uh, we're absolutely overwhelmed by the uh, yeah, amount of people that want to see the system, want to see the bike. Um, the feedback is absolutely astonishing. Um, yeah, we did not expect that, but we're absolutely happy. And uh, it shows that we did the right choices in terms of, you know, uh, configuring the drivetrain with all those specs, building the bike. And it's cool that we already can show the drivetrain in a really cool bike. The bike is perfectly designed for the drivetrain, so it works really well together yeah. and is a perfect showcase. Yeah, it definitely does. You mentioned it's like an incubator for yes. the system. As a, as a whole piece, but the bike alone is, is a pretty standout. If it was just the bike we yeah. were talking about, I think it's a really cool feature, but as a complete package. Exactly. Uh, and I also noticed some other brands like coming to investigate it and maybe take some notes and yes. kind of go but back they, and- They're all showing up and want to see what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, somebody new is in town and let's check him out, I guess. Yeah. So that's also maybe a reason for the big use. It's not, not only people and dealers that ride the bike, but also like, other manufacturers that might <laughs> want to see what we're doing. Yeah. But yeah, it's good to have competition, I guess. Totally. It's, it's always pushing um, technology. And for the end consumer, it's just like beneficial, I guess. Everybody wins, right? Everybody there can't wins. just be one outstanding player because yeah, the innovation slows down. And when more people are around innovating at such a rapid pace, I think everybody wins as an end result. So Only the engineers that gives them some headaches. <laughs> oh, we have to implement that and we have to be that better here. But yeah, I, I think for the end consumer, it's definitely a, a really, really good, good benefit. Yeah.